Cliffy, Cliffy, Cliffy. My, how we fallen from grace. Today, Cliffy B shut down Bosky Studios. I knew it, you knew it, the people knew it, and even Cliffy B himself knew it. Cue the music. Folks, Demi Guy Reviews here. I'm gonna make this video as quick as possible because I actually have to get to work in a little bit. As you see in the title, as you see in the video, Cliffy B announces that Bosky Studio shut down. Notice this isn't a joke. Notice this isn't anything funny. Cliffy B actually announced that Bosky Studios was shutting down. He announced that, yeah, everything isn't working as he planned. And then he kind of tried to jump on the wave a little bit with certain titles. And that he just needed time to himself since nothing has really worked out for him being with Bossy Studios. Now, I'm not going to knock Cliffy B because it sucks that a game studio shuts down. It sucks. It sucks all the time. And we've seen it happen to many a studio in this industry. But I have to admit, Cliffy, he has fallen from grace. He's fallen from grace and he's tried to replicate the popular titles and tried to keep up with everything that's currently going on in the wave. Lawbreakers was a game that was fast-paced. You were jumping around. Exosuit-based gameplay that we've seen from Call of Duty and Titanfall that people eventually got tired of. And he had team-up superpowers like Destiny and Overwatch. Something that was done recently by two popular titles that did it even better. And now you have Radical Heist that's trying to jump on the free-to-play Battle Royale wave that PUBG and Fortnite are holding down. Fortnite by itself is solo in this game by itself. And PUBG is just coming up with the body blows also. It sucks to see that a game developer is shutting down a studio because we've seen Sony Santa Monica in the same boat at one point and they were going through it and then they risen themselves up with God of War. Yeah, it, it blows. It really does. But at the same time, you have to blame Cliffy B because he was just trying to jump on something that would get them quick money, quick instances, and just really wasn't up to par with what it was trying to compete with. Lawbreakers had to go up against Call of Duty, Exosuits, Titanfall, Destiny, Overwatch, all kinds of stuff. And you got Radical Heist that's dropping in the peak of Fortnite. The peak of Fortnite. So let that sink in. Yeah, it sucks. But at the same time, Cliff, you could have been more original with the ideas you were pushing. You could have been at least a little better at what you're trying to do. Radical Heist dropped in early access. Five months in early access at that. So... I can't feel bad, but I feel bad at the same time because you brought this on yourself. You weren't trying to push anything original. And the little things you have of originality, it kind of just died in the wind. Yeah, it sucks. Don't get me wrong, it really sucks. But, Cliffy, you once went from a powerful developer who had recognition behind his name. It was, yeah, Cliffy B to Nats. Yeah, Cliffy B. Hopefully you get back on your feet. Hopefully Sony and Microsoft pick you up. Hopefully you do something recent and new. Something that's going to change the industry. Something that's going to put you back on top. Because you know where your comfort is at with a third person shooter. You know where you're good at. And you know to not jump on the wave of just current trends. That doesn't work for any developer. Unless you really have the staying power to continue pressing on. Alright folks, that is it for this video. Like and subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, check out the past streams of Beyond Two Souls, check out my God of War review and my CFDs review, and I will see you in the next video. And until next time, and until the next video, we'll tune in, turn up, and throw down. It's looking like a GG, and I'm out.